today I am planning to color my hair and make a very soft ombre. This is the thing that I am planning to put in my roots. I have never done this before. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. If I need this color, I will put it in the end of my hair. And as you can see now, my hair is already kind of an ombre, but we're gonna make it a more obvious ombre, and I hope it will turn out okay. I might also end up making some headlights to lighten up the hair. I'm just gonna start with coming through my hair, make sure there's no tangles. I'm sure you can see now that my hair is already going from very light to very dark, and I'm actually not planning to touch this at all. I just want to make this a slight darker. Hopefully it will turn out to be an okay umber. I'm terrified. And I guess we're just going to get started. Okay, remember that I have no idea what I'm doing and it might not turn out well for you doing the same thing. Please don't take my advice for anything. I live in Italy and everything is in Italian. I'm actually not going to follow the instructions because my Italian is not well enough to actually understand what's going on here. So we're just going to try our best here. This one goes into this one. So the comp I was buying for this, I gave it to my boyfriend so that he could sell his hair. I think it's going to go okay anyway. I have another comb. So you're not supposed to put the hair color in the roots first because the roots process quicker. But I want my roots to be the darkest and then I want it to fade. So I am actually intending to put it in the roots first. Down one should go, it should go like this. I think around the ear. Switching this one out to this one that it also came with. It should wear gloves, but I really don't like the gloves. I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, fuck. Terrified. This sound is disgusting. <laughs> this one does not smell good, I can tell you that. I think I might want it a little bit further down too, like this. It's gonna look like shit. I am terrified. I am absolutely terrified. Here, I already have a pretty good ombre. But we'll just put in a little bit here too. Because it's so hard. I'm kind of figuring that the worst thing that can happen is that it turns out like shit and then I'll use bleach. My hair is fairly untreated so it actually takes in the blonde hair color very well actually because a lot of Italian women seem like they have darker and thicker hair than I do. My hair is very thin and fine so the hair color that they saw here it works completely different than the ones I've been using in Sweden before. I have no idea what I'm doing. It would be better to use like Put it in, whole thing, then like make it long. But I, the thing is, I, I don't want to color more of my hair than I have to because it does damage the hair and I want to grow out my hair so I want it as undamaged as possible. A big possibility that everything we're doing right now will be a fail. As long as it's gonna come my hair now and I hope it like spreads out a little bit. I'm hosting a birthday party, a small one, for my boyfriend next week and let's just pray that this is not gonna turn out a disaster. It's not professional in any means. I have so much hair color in my hair right now that I can make a ponytail. Ooh, it's, so wild here. it's dripping everywhere. I wonder if you get in there. You're supposed to use a lot. 
That's what I've learned from them. I'm the only one colouring my hair at home my whole life, but I've never been on Umbra before, so this is the first time I'm doing this. There was one time when I was like 12, I wanted to become platina blonde as all the other girls in school. I have like a golden blonde, naturally, of course, I missed out a few spots here and there, so more look like a little part. I'll go for 20 minutes and then I will wash it off. Right now, the hair color has been in for around 10 minutes and I don't know what I feel about it. I am petrified. It might turn out, however, so I'm just gonna comb it one more time here. It is very different. I don't know if it's visible, but there's some orange tones in it. I have visions for my hair and I somehow has the idea right now that that's not how this is gonna turn out. I'm just terrified, truly, truly terrified. My hair looks horrible right now as I'm sure all of you anticipated. I can't do much right now. I don't own a hair dryer. I will have to wait for my hair to dry before we can move on with the next step. You're so annoying. <laughs> They don't, they, the audience has not seen me touching your butt in this, it's too high, like... <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god, I have tiger stripes! Look at this, my love! Mm -hmm. Oh wow, what the fuck? Okay, we need help here. Tiger stripes. Hold me, hold me back. Is that good for your hair? No. <laughs> okay, I love you. So, I have tiger stripes in my hair. I have completely filled with this. And now we're gonna try to make some highlights and see if it can possibly rescue this situation. And also like put a little bit more movement in the hair. I have no idea what I'm doing this time either. But I do know that I do want some blonde highlights around my face because it will make the brownish color smoother. So we're not using gloves once again. I'll start by doing like this and going in here. I think I'm gonna go with the baby hair here. Okay, so this is how it turned out. I kind of gave up on the idea of creating an ombre and I just went all in with the blonde because I noticed that it wasn't working out. It still looks horrible. <laughs> Another round of blonde and we're trying to get back to normal here. That's gonna be it. Okay, so now I'm ready to take care of this mess. Two of these and I'm basically gonna put it in my whole hair except for the tops. Once again, everything is in Italian. This is pre-trattamento, uh, which means that you put it in your hair before you start doing anything else to protect the hair. And it looks like this. And my hair needs it. Okay. 
eight for two minutes and then we're gonna wash it up and then we'll hope it's better than the last time. This coloring thing is just not going according to plan at all. I'm thinking about coloring my hair one more time and putting in some highlights and just hope that that's gonna be enough. Good morning. Today I'm going to the final blonde into this. This is the blonde I'm going with. Let's just hope that this will be the last time I have to color my hair now. I have unlimited amount of time today, so I'm just gonna get started. I've been working for three days straight now, and I don't work normal work hours. I can work up to 15 hours a day when I actually work and then I'm free for like four days. I haven't had the time to put this in. This is supposed to be in for 45 minutes. It's still in Italian, but at least that's what I can figure out from it. So there's so much stuff in here. It's a L'Oreal, so maybe it's an English number. And no, it's not. So we're just gonna guess. I'm gonna take off my bracelet today. This is actually like some sort of bleach. Let's open one beyond them. I have two hours to take care of this mess, and however it turns out today, I guess that's how it's going to be for my boyfriend's birthday party. Ready. supposed to come your hair when you have hair color in it but honestly I think it's gonna be okay. I've obviously said that this whole time but um, I don't feel like those are working for me because I feel like I can't feel where the hair color is and since I'm doing this myself it's important for me to feel where the hair color is, so that they don't leave any dry spots. I want my hair quality to somewhat survive this terrible accident. I don't mind a little bit of movement in my hair. I mean, we were going for an umbra and now you're just trying to restore it. So I think this is my last hair adventure at home, I haven't had one in years, usually I just stick to being blonde, which is very easy when you're already blonde, so now we're gonna leave this in for like 45 minutes. Let's just hope that this is, this is my day, this is my day, this is gonna be okay. Guys, this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm not all over happy with the result. Basically, I failed with the ombre. I am gonna stop right here. I have already put my hair through four dyes. Three dyes and one bleach. And I just don't want to put my hair through anything more, so it might not look amazing. I'm gonna stop right here. This is wearable and I'm gonna go with it. I hope that you learned not to do this at home. I have never tried making an ombre before and I will for sure never try again.